Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a voiceover um, of a bath bomb that I've painted. Um, so I totally forgot to push record when I was painting the skin tone. Um, this is actually a skin tone that I made with like brown, red, yellow, white. Um, I mixed it myself with mica and then I added the creme de la creme mica sparkle. It's like a nice beige. And then I also add the Aphrodite um, mica. It just gives it like a nice, like a natural skin tone with a little bit of sparkle. Who doesn't like sparkle? Um, so yeah, so you can see how it, uh, how it turns out. So right now I'm going to do his hair. I'm using the chestnut brown uh, mica. We got our micas from uh, Yellow Bee. They're amazing, high quality micas. Uh, they make the um, the bath bombs just sparkle so, so nicely. Um, so what I do is I just brush on with something like hair or a big surface. I like to use a big, thick paintbrush. So I dab and then I brush through. So with our micas, it's actually mixed with alcohol. I use a 99% uh, alcohol. As soon as the alcohol touches the bath bomb, uh, immediately evaporates and then all you're left with is the is the color on the bath bomb as you can see it goes on super smooth pretty satisfying to watch <laughs> so i just paint through nice dabs all the way to the tip of his hair there um, make sure not to um get onto the skin, try to stay in the lines. I've been doing this for a long while, so I can do it pretty quickly. I used to start out with a very thin brush and, um, and then now I'm more comfortable so I can go ahead and just slap it on there with a, with a thicker brush so it takes me uh, less time. Because we typically paint, um, I typically paint about 30 bombs of the same kind. So I have 30 Harry Potters on my table now. Um, and that's just the one kind. So we do multiple, multiple kinds every time that we, uh, we launch a new batch of bombs. So there you go. You can see the finished product. And I'm going to go ahead and take a very thin brush and paint his eyebrows. Very, very thin. It's easy when the, um, the mold already has, um, you know, molded features. Uh, I, I am an artist, so I can go ahead and just put on eyebrows uh, myself just freehandly. Um, and sometimes I find that if I tip the bath bomb upside down, it's easier for me to do the other side. I'm not sure why, but it works. So next I'm going to make the blue for his eye color. Um, I don't have quite a bit enough in there. Uh, it's a little bit too watery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add in some of the blue i'm going to show you guys you just need like a tiny little dab in there i had difficulties opening up my alcohol bottle <laughs> so i just put a little in there And then you're going to take your brush and you're going to mix it around until you find that you have a good consistency. And then you dab on for the eyes. For eye color, I like to do a little bit thinner just so it gives it kind of like a natural look. This takes a very steady hand. 
Uh, like I said, I am an artist. I paint um, canvases and, you know, for back to school, I do backpacks and such like that. So I'm very, um, very comfortable with a brush and all different kinds of paints. So I, uh, when I first started painting bath bombs, it came very natural for me. <laughs> So there you go, you have the eyes, nice blue eyes. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and dab with some black. Oopsies. So now I'm going to go ahead, I mix some red, and I'm just going to add a little red to his smile. This is a very, very fine paintbrush. It's my paintbrush that I use um, for all my tiny, tiny details. Next, I'm doing his glasses. I know they're black, but I kind of felt like if I did black, it would kind of just make the whole bath bomb really, really dark looking. So I went ahead and did a nice gold. And I felt like it really made, um, made the bath bomb and his eyes really pop. I do like quick, quick brushes um, for small surfaces like that. I find if you go slow, you tend to have a little bit more mistakes because you're too concentrated on being, uh, being perfect. If you do nice and quick, it usually turns out a lot better. Just be confident in your, uh, in your painting. So next, um, I wanted to do, add some white just to give him a little bit um, more personality, make him pop a little bit more. It's all about the details with me. So far, this video has been about eight minutes. Um, so typically, I would spend less time on, um, on a bomb. I'm usually about three minutes per bath bomb, but I wanted to do a voiceover. So I wanted to take my time um, to go over things and, and show you guys. It's a little bit harder too because I have my, my camera set up right in front of me. So I'm having to peek around my phone um, to see how I'm painting. And there you go. That is my Harry Potter. This is the first time I've painted these bombs. This is a brand new mold that we have. Um, then I go ahead and use that, uh, that flesh tone that I made myself and just dabbed for his nose so he doesn't look like Voldemort, <laughs> and uh, add a little detail for his scar, because why not? He's Harry Potter. So there you go. He's nice and shiny. He's sparkly, and so the bath bomb went from blank to that. I really hope you guys like my video, and um, thank you very much. Have a good day, guys. Bye!